Um, hi, so um, I just wanted to do a bit of a little video blog about detoxing because um, I did an Instagram post and it seemed to attract your attention or capture your imagination or you know it's obviously something you guys want to talk about so I wanted to just tell you what I think about detoxing um, because it's getting a bit of a bad rap at the moment the word itself is just uh, seems to be getting bad press um, the term detoxing literally means to take the toxins out of your body it means to untoxify your body and this suddenly seems to be a bad thing to do or just unrealistic or you know just sort of like you know hocus pocus not real but actually the thing is that in the world that we live in what when you've got a high toxic load it is when you've got that your body's struggling to cope with all the toxins that go in and that doesn't that's not nonsense because the thing is nowadays even if you you know, so the obvious ones are smoking, drinking, um, uh, then there are things like pesticides in your foods. So even if you're trying to eat very well, you know, and you're, you're, you know, you're eating fresh fruit and vegetables all the time, a lot of them have pesticides on them and a lot are very difficult to get off. So there are things, there's something called the Clean 15, which are uh, the least pesticide polluted um fruits and veg, so things like avocado because they've got a skin on, mangoes are good, you know, anything with a skin on is protected from the spray of pesticides. And then you have the dirty dozen, which are things like all the leaves, the spinaches, lettuces. So all those green leaves that you think are really good can often be covered in pesticides and they can be difficult to get off. So those toxins are going into your body and then you've got environmental toxins, so things like uh, pollution and, um, you know, stress. Stress is a really big one. We get really stress. Uh, that we're under every day because we're rushing our lives and really busy whether you're stressed at work stressed with kids just not get sleepy enough uh, that creates toxins in your body it creates free radicals and free radicals are toxins and free radicals go around the body um, and basically from a very scientific boring level they are missing an electron and the chain so they vibrate in the body so when you put in antioxidants which are antitoxins um, that they an antioxidant will give an extra electron to the membrane and it will stop shaking and it will stop causing damage in the body. So um, I hope that that, <laughs> the dog's are back, hello. Oh, there we go. Um, so then, so that's basically how it works. So the idea that getting, giving your body a break from all those things is bad, it sort of seems ridiculous to me. So when you, so ways to detox, there, there are, you know, really things like, Things like spirulina are a brilliant weight, a brilliant thing to take on a daily basis, or a vitamin C or vitamin E is an antioxidant. They're a brilliant things to take on a daily basis to help your body balance the toxic load, to help your body fight. So it's just a balancing act. You know, you've got lots of toxins. If your toxins are too high, you need to take more antioxidants to bring them down. You know, it's just about balance. That's all it is. It's not extreme. It doesn't have to be extreme. And I think that's where the detox, where the detox word has got a bad um, rap. You know, the other thing, so uh, the reason I was posting about to uh, detox uh, detox was because I was on a, a detox and I was doing a fast for, and I was doing, I did three days actually, just, and I did liquids, um, I did a juice fast. There were other people I was with that were doing raw food, which is just giving your body a break. It's not about weight loss. And I think that's, sorry, I think that is why people, I think that's why people have given, I think that's why the word detox has got a bad name because people use it in reference to quick weight loss quick like fix before you go on holiday quick this but you know when you've been out you know going mental partying then people go oh, i want a detox and actually you're just letting your body recover a detox is meant to be where you let your body rest you let your digestive digestive system rest and you you know you really rejuvenate your system and give it a real good boost of nutrition to help you know get over all the other toxins that come from environmental and food and drink and coffee and stress and our lifestyles and tv you know they say that like you get toxic um you know from all the um what's it called electromagnetic field so anyway so that's all i, I definitely think so from my point of view i try i love doing a juice fast to to and it really does I, it's not even the body it's mind clarity i get from it too and i try and do that i try and do a big one so more than three days twice a year I try to do one day a week, which doesn't happen all the time, but I do try. Um, I often think about, you know, I, if I am if I am going out a lot and I am really stressed, I make sure that I'm taking in enough antioxidants, whether it's in food 
or if I'm, you know, I can take in uh, super powders, things like spirulina and chlorella are brilliant, um, or wheatgrass or vitamin C powder or, you know, any of those things. And they really do help your body to cope. That's all you're trying to do is you're trying to help your body cope. So, you know, those are things to do as well. But I think um, fasting is a really good way of doing it. I'm trying to think about other things. You know, I mean, think other things like going vegan for a week. Do that, go vegan for a week, give your body a rest. If you don't have to, you know, brown rice and um, vegetables is a brilliant high fiber way to help your body, the digestive system get moving, get the top, you know, get move every, all the rubbish that's in your gut out. Um, and you do that for a week, you'd feel great too. It doesn't have to be extreme and it doesn't have to be um, uh, the preserve of, you know, sort of yogi, cleany, living people, because I think everybody, everybody is under toxic stress. So I hope that's helped. And I'd love to know any comments or thoughts um, that you have about this subject, because it's uh, quite an emotive subject at the moment. And have a lovely day, and I'll see you again. Bye.